Hi there, this is Sagar Mori from sagarmori.in and today in this video, I am going to explain you my top 10 fishing prevention techniques. So before we start, in case if you haven't watched my previous video which is based on fishing information and types of fishing, so here is my video to help you out with that. The first technique in my list is learn to identify suspected phishing emails. So let's take an example of gmail.com. If you receive an email from gmail.com and you open it, make sure that you go to header section of your email to check whether the address is correct or not. If you find any spelling mistakes in the address from where you have received email, then avoid that email because that email might be the phishing scam. And if you don't find any spelling mistakes in the email address, still it is not safe to trust on that particular email. Because email spoofing is a tactic with which an attacker can send you an email from real email address of a trusted entity. If you feel that sender's email address is correct and you have trust on it, then here is my second technique which you need to follow. And the second technique is check the source of information from incoming emails. In this particular method, you need to check for the errors and grammatical mistakes in the email. If the email visually doesn't look like the email that you receive from your trusted entity, then avoid that email. Because branded source always use their email templates to send their emails to the customers. By analyzing body part of email, if you feel that it is not safe, then avoid that email. The third type in my list is do not open attachments. I mean to say that whenever you receive an email from unknown person or entity, Make sure that you do not open attachments because some attachments can contain malware. Malware gets executed and functional when you open the attachment. By any chance you think that the attachment can contain malware, then here is my fourth technique which will help you in that case. The fourth technique is protect your computer. These days there are many freewares out there to help you with that. Search for top 10 anti-phishing softwares and you will get one. You must have security related softwares in your computer for your online transactions and all. The fifth technique is do not use shortcuts. Here I actually mean that whenever you receive an email, don't click on the links directly. Because the link may pretend to be a real website but it might be the fake website. This is the most common method with which an attacker can get all your information with a simple link. So here what you can do is manually enter URLs into the browser. Don't use shortcut methods. The sixth technique is never email your information. In this technique, what I want to tell you is that never email your personal or financial information to the another person. Even if you are close with that recipient, don't send your personal information. Because there is a chance that recipient's email address is already hacked and from that email address, he is asking for your information. The technique number seven is use virtual keyboards whenever necessary. These days, most of the bank websites has a virtual keyboard functionality embedded into their website and login form. So use that functionality instead of using your keyboards because there is a chance that the keylogger is already installed in your system and that can get all your information and send to the attacker. The number 8 type is download with care. What I mean to say here is whenever you go to a website to download any software, then be sure that you are downloading from a trusted website. Because the executed files that you download, it might contain virus and it might damage your computer. So always download from a trusted website. Ninth type is be careful while using public networks. Most of the people have habit to use public networks like wireless and LAN networks. Generally public networks are not that safe. You can still use that but avoid to make sensitive transactions from that network. And the tenth type is never tell your bank account details over the phone. Most of the time, you may receive a call from an attacker who is trying to pretend to be a bank executive. He will ask you for your username, password and bank account details. Do not provide such information over the phone. You may also receive OTP code which is one-time password code over the text messages. Do not share these OTP codes with anyone. So guys, these were my top 10 phishing prevention techniques. I hope it will help you and share this knowledge with your friends and family. If you like my video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Be technical.